what's going on welcome to my channel my name is linda today y'all i'm going to be doing a get to know me deeper challenge it was created by the fabulous unique speaks y'all i thought i'd just go ahead and turn the camera on and go ahead and do that i've been uh, i think she tagged me in this maybe a couple of weeks ago i think so finally getting down to really doing that i've been working and um yeah so i was also tagged by fight temptation so y'all go ahead and follow both of them or subscribe to both of their channels amazing beautiful women okay so anywho i'm gonna try to do these questions off the top of my head because i do not have the questions written down i think i left them at home or well, either they might be in my purse but anyway let's try to do this off the top of my head but anyway the first question i think was um What's the first question? Oh, name three goals that you want to achieve by the end of 2022. Um, I would say the first goal, of course, because I am on YouTube, so I'm going to say the first goal would be to be monetized, you know, get 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch time hours and be monetized. Um, yeah, so that would be one of my goals. The second goal would be to try to drop down a couple of more pounds y'all know i've been working on my um my health my body my weight all of that eating better and to try to get as close to eating better as you know i really want to be like a vegan y'all <laughs> but i know that's hard so to try to eat better and mostly lose you know a couple of more pounds let's say about maybe like 10 or 15 more pounds will suit me perfectly and i think i will feel better um be more energized and i also look better so another goal would be to um move out of town y'all be wanting to move out of town for a while i want to move to florida we actually visited florida last year we took a look around um, I went to a couple of um, apartment complexes and looked around. So um, it'll be a miracle if it happens by the end of this year because I don't think that, I don't know. I'm not going to say that, but we're going to speak it into the atmosphere, y'all, because, you know, what you speak. <laughs> but anywho, um, either by the end of the year or next year, hopefully. So I don't know. It just depends. So. Those are the three goals that I want to achieve at the end of this year. I think the second question is, um, what's the second question? Why is this rattling? The person is just making so much noise. Um, the second question is, uh, where do you see your YouTube channel, I think? So what do you want your YouTube channel to look like by the end, by next year? I think that's what the question is, y'all. If I got the questions wrong, I know I'm at least close, close to, <laughs> The answers will be right, but the questions may not necessarily be exactly like she had it. But um, I want to be more creative with my YouTube channel. Yeah, I try to get my videos, you know, to have good quality and, you know, good content. I try not to just post anything. Um, so to be a little bit more creative with my content, also to be a little bit more consistent. I don't know, y'all, I work in the medical field and... Um, Y'all, I be so tired when I get off work. Like, I have the content. Oh, I'm trying to turn on the wrong street. I'm going to turn it around. I, just, I don't want to go this way. Um, I be having the content, y'all, but it's the editing part. I don't even want, I love to edit, but, um, yeah, let me turn around because I need to get on this highway. I love to edit, but, you know, when I get off, I don't want to see no computers. I don't want to see no anything that has to do with work. I just want to be doing what I want to do, if that makes sense. So, um, like I said, I do be having the content. So, to be a little bit more consistent and to, you know, pick a day of the week that I edit. You know, a day of the week that I record, day of the week that I edit. The recording part is really not the issue. It's mostly the editing part. So, to be a little bit more consistent with my... Um, videos to um get better with the content and the creativity of it and yeah and to appeal to a larger audience so that's what um, i want my channel to look like and of course 
monetize. So the third question is name a good trait and a bad trait about yourself and how those traits have affected your life. I would say, um, I'm gonna start with, what's a bad trait? I think a bad trait would be me um, sometimes pushing people away from me that means me some, some good. You know, sometimes people can say things or do things that people who didn't really need me, mean me any good, have done, and it kind of like triggers me. And sometimes I will push those good people away. Um, those people really didn't mean any harm. Um, so I think that's a bad trait. You know, just trying to protect myself so much so that sometimes I have a tendency of pushing good people away. That's a bad trait. Um, a good trait, I would say, is... Oh, another bad trait, I would say, is always caring and wanting to be there for people so much so that um, I tend to neglect myself sometimes. Like, I'm always there for people. And I don't feel like I get the same return all the time. And I feel like that has affected my life because honestly, I feel like if I wasn't there for certain people the way that I was, I feel like I would be further in life. Like, I feel like I have jumped hurdles for people in my life and it wasn't reciprocated. So I feel like I would be further in life if I was focused on myself, you know, and my kids more so than focusing on other people and trying to make sure they're good. So that's another bad trait that I really would say. Um, yeah. And a good trait would be, I don't know. I would just say having a discerning spirit uh, when it comes to, you know, people who really don't mean you no good, you know. Um, also, you know, me caring and also helping people, you know, like I said, in the bad trait, me always being there for people, um, that's one of the good traits that I do have. Even though it can tend to affect me negatively, um, that's still a good trait. Um, I just have to learn how to be better with it and manage it a little better so that I'm not neglecting myself. So, yeah. So, the next question I think was, hold on y'all, I'm trying to think. Oh, how do you describe or define love? One of those. I'm gonna say, love to me is unconditional. Like, don't love me with conditions. Do not love me with conditions. Um, you gotta love me unconditionally. Um, also, I have to be able to trust people. Trust is a big factor when it comes to love. And I have to be able to trust you. And also, whatever you say, like if you say something and you do something different, that's not love. Like you have to be a person of your word. So if you say you're gonna do one thing and then you do another, nah. So that's how I define love. And then the last question I believe was, um, what was the last question? Oh, how do... What was the last question? It's all about YouTube. Um, oh, what attracts you to people on YouTube? I would say what attracts me to people on YouTube is... Like, I like to look at a lot of motivational videos. I like to look at a lot of videos um, talking about veganism, y'all. That's I love looking at those. Like, Dr. Sabi. Um, Dr. Um, what his name is? Aries Latham. I think this is his name. Dr. Aries Latham. Um, Dr. Matt. Um, what is his name? Oh my gosh, I can't think of his name. Uh, but I like to look at a lot of those videos. Dr. Aries Latham, um, Dr. Sabi, stuff like that. Talk about veganism and healthy eating. I also like to look at a lot of vlogs. I feel like we can learn from everybody. And um, looking at vlogs, you know, people can inspire you. You know, it may be somebody that's a little further in your life, a little further in one area than you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, it could be somebody who is a vegan, you know what I'm saying? And watching their journey and how they got there, what they're doing and what they're eating and things like that. Or it could be just other areas um, that, you know, somebody may inspire me, you know, just by me watching their videos, you know. So, um, I like looking at a lot of vlogs, a lot of motivational videos, uh, like a lot of um, videos talking about health and wellness and things like that. So, that's what attracts me to um, 
channels on YouTube. So that was the last question, y'all. So I hope I answered these questions. Um, I have to tag two other YouTubers. So I'm gonna tag Ron Healing Self Love. I'm tagging you, and Raymond Tackler. I'm tagging you as well. And these are two other channels that you all should subscribe to. Two amazing channels. Okay. So again, thank you, Unique, for creating this a really good challenge. But anyway, y'all, I'm on my way to Trader Joe's. I know I didn't mention that earlier, but I got some to go. Okay, it looks like it's about to rain. But um, I will see y'all in my next video. Thank y'all for watching, okay?